All right, Saturday morning, 5.30, and I look like this because all I'm going to do is can pears. Oh. But I'm just going to get started because I'm up. And here is the zucchini bread that I made, and I will put the list, or the, what's it called? Recipe. I'll put the recipe below. This um, is my friend Paul's recipe, and you guys had asked for it a couple of vlogs back, and so he very kindly um, typed it and sent it to me so I could just copy and paste it. Coffee. Copy and paste it for you guys. Um, I'm going to do this here. Game. I've got stuff in my dish dryer. Um, so I will put that below for you guys. It's very good. Um, there is there is no oil in it because it uses applesauce, which is exciting for us. Or it uses unsweetened applesauce because we... Exciting. That is like a crazy word to use. It works well for us because we have our own, you know, applesauce that we can that we don't put sugar in. So, anyway, I just thought I would let you guys know that it turned out delightfully again as usual. I did with nuts. I seem to prefer this recipe better with nuts than without, but I think it just is personal preference. Um, normally, I prefer, I, I realize that I look ridiculous, but it is what it is. And um, I'm just going to can, so I will um, get ready and look more presentable later. So, all right, I'm going to get going on this. Bob is only working for a few hours, so then he said he was going to come home and help a little bit before he went off to his weekend, though I told him he doesn't have to. And I will still try to convince him not, not to and to just go off and have fun. Um, and yeah, that's what's going on. So, I will... Uh, as it gets on a Saturday morning, my friends. Just thought I'd show you how I've been serenading the parents here by myself. <laughs> Flipping pears around. Go again, you say, crystal vision. I keep my visions to And I still look like this. Yep, sure do. Uh, <laughs> I will show you. Just putting my um, finger away. So this is half of what I did. I think I did 26 quarts, and I already have 13 um, for my parents. And I want to show you what else that I did. I'm just and it's cleaning here up. So I did all of that. Okay, let's just stay focused. And then over here, you're not going to really be able to see, but this sconce fell off the wall 
at some point. And that little tip thing went down there. Let's see if I can show you. And there was a hole, like a big white hole there. So you can't see, but I spackled the, maybe you can see a little bit of mature. I spackled that in and then painted it. And then on this wall over here, you, I can't remember if I showed you guys or not, but when we replaced this with a newer one, because the one they had was really old, they hadn't, paint, they hadn't removed it when they painted this wall, so it was all like white around there. So I painted that and then I filled in, uh, there's just so many holes on this wall from before. So I filled in all of those, speckled all of those, and then you can see I need to do a little bit more. So I just, I speckled, painted, and then I could really see that I needed to do some more. So I'm just gonna let that sit for a little while. And then later this afternoon, I'm gonna put a little more spackle in there and then finish up with some paint. But, um, what is that on the floor? Oh, shoo, thought I dropped paint on the floor. So anyway, now, um, shoot, I wonder if I should do these stools first. I think we're gonna save the stools because I'm kind of tired. <laughs> um, and I need to run to the store to get a few things. My friend Steven's coming over tonight and we are going to, I think we, we were gonna make like some appetizers and just have like dinner, appetizers for dinner. But um, because of everything that I had going on today, and he's working on, oh, I need to clean this sink first. Um, he's working on hardwood floors at his, at the farm. I think we're just gonna order pizza, but I wanna make the, those baked apples that if you guys watch Laura Vitale, Laura in the Kitchen, she did them not that long ago, and I wanna make those. So I just, I think the only thing I need to get is apples. So I'm gonna go do that. And then I'm gonna just chill. I was all excited to watch the Badgers, but yeah, they're not on today, it's their bye week. So, some days, this is, this is how it goes. This is what I look like all day long some days, because it is what it is. All right, so, um, I have my church cuties with me. <laughs> They're hyped up on sugar. Yeah, she has, she's having a... She's having a... Oh, this is going A blue raspberry Mr. Misty. Um, so they are going to help me make baked, ap baked apples. I'm going to make four for... Four for me and for Steven and four for them to take to them. I'm just putting it on the counter. So they're helping me bake for washing the apples. Um, and where, where did we go today? We went, um, we to, went to Charlotte. We went Charlotte. to the grocery store. We went to the grocery store. We went to um, Dollar Tree. We yep. went to... And we went to, we went to um, the Amish store. Amish store. It's called Floyd. And then we went to um, Dairy Queen. Queen. And I got a Royal um, Oreo Blizzard filled with fudge. How was it? It was great. Yeah. <laughs> and so now they're going to help me bake some apples. And I just thought I would vlog a little bit and let you see them. And we'll show you the progress as we go here. Oh, jeez, it's spring. It's like a spring. You don't dare sass the Kristen. <laughs> Who does? So they are helping me. They're good little helpers. Blah, 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 blah. Epic says I love Epic. You love me? Mm -hmm. I love you too, sweetheart. So we're having a good time just hanging out, we making are. some baked apples. I just wanted to show you guys that they're working hard. I and think it's... This is Laura Vitale's recipe, so I'll link it below in the description box yep. for you guys. <laughs> Good Sunday morning, my friends. My friends. My friends. Um, I just got home from church and promptly cranked my hair up in this. It is so hot. <laughs> our sanctuary, or our, our church, the air conditioning went out. And, um, sorry, that is necessary. I'm trying, I like, I just can't, okay, let me, let me explain. I'm going to say I can't get my core temperature down. So the air conditioning went out and they made the decision not to fix it until next year, um, because of costs and stuff. So we're a little church. It's not like we've got money coming out our ears. So, um, <clears throat> excuse me, they made the decision to wait and I don't know where you guys are, but here in Wisconsin, it's abnormally hot for this time of year. It's going to be 90 today, and yesterday it was 92 at one point when I was out with the girls. I mean, goodness. So I don't know what, when I last vlogged, but I had so much fun. You know, yesterday is one of those reasons why we moved to town. Maybe I said this yesterday. I don't know. I felt like I was thinking this in my head, but I don't know that I said it. But, you know, I was just able, kind of at a very spontaneous spur of the moment, took the girls with me for a few hours. Their parents could get some stuff done. I got to spend some time with them. They got to spend some time with me. Um, we did a little baking that you guys saw, and we they wanted to go to the dollar store. Took them to the, you know, so we did some fun stuff, and it just was really good. It was good, good for my soul. 
And then speaking of good for my soul, um, Stephen was in town, so he came over and we hung out. We went out, had, had a couple drinks. Um, I'm recycling something. Um, and it's like random people yelling in my street. Anyway, um, and so we ordered some pizza, chit chat, had a, and then went out, had a couple drinks. And uh, yeah, so then we had choir this morning and church. And um, now my parents are coming over to um, get their pears and help me hang this picture. It's an ongoing struggle. Uh, it's, it's just an ongoing struggle. It's the picture that I showed you with the frame in the barn window. Anyway, so that's what's going on. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna take, I think I did enough yesterday, then I'm gonna take it easy today. Packers are on later, I think 3.30, something like that. So first I have to get my pears down, or our pears downstairs. And all the candy stuff needs to go downstairs. And so that's what I'm about to do. My after church, I just I honestly was so hot. I needed to come home and like I took off my sweater. I was just wearing like a little thin holy sort of sweater. Took that off right away. And um mom and dad were staying to fellowship and have coffee and I was like, I'll see you guys at my house <laughs> later. I, I just had to go. I just, it was too hot for me. That sounds wussy, I realize that. And those of you that live in those climates, you think I'm a wuss. But understand this. You have air conditioning everywhere you go. I mean, we do for the most part here, but it's not working. You feel me? All right, so I'm gonna get all this stuff downstairs. Um, I have to, it's weird to try to figure out what I'm gonna cook for myself. Um, like I was telling you guys, I always take care of Bob. By the way, thank you guys for all your, your tips and tricks and suggestions on, um, you know, when I travel and, and making sure that he has food. I appreciate that. Um, so I did a lot of time this week making sure he had food to take up north. And um, I didn't really think about what I was going to eat all week, but there were a couple bowls of chili left. I think I'm going to save that for the end of the week when it's in the 60s. I'm not having chili today. Um, so yeah, anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling. I'm gonna collect this business and take it downstairs. Good morning, it is Monday morning. I just finished doing an Instagram Live and it's just about eight o'clock, so um, I need to start working. But I wanted to share with you guys, I did, yesterday put together the other two stools so i have the three here like this way and then i've stuck this one in here like this so i'm gonna see let me see if you guys can add zucchini anyone i need to um shred those up and so i don't know i can't decide if it looks too crowded i feel like it looks a tad crowded let's see what one looks or one less looks like yeah, I can't really decide. I don't think it makes a ton of difference, like not a huge difference. So I don't know. We shall see what I end up doing, but I don't know. So, <laughs> so I, um, I did that yesterday, watched the Packers. They won in overtime. It was a little bit stressful, but they did win. And um, yeah, so I'm going to go I'm gonna work. I have a Cairo this afternoon. Uh, but this week, he's gone all week, so there won't be any Bob this week when, in, when I'm vlogging, if there's anything for me to even vlog. I'm not sure. And actually, it could be a little while before you see another vlog, <laughs> now that I think about that, unless I film some little bits here the next few days. Maybe I'll try. I am going, I think I, well, I've told, I said on Instagram Live a couple of times that I have decided I'm going to go blonde, like blonde blonde, and like a cool kind of blonde, not a warm blonde. And I start the process on Thursday with Eric for that's going to be like a month, not month, months to get there so I could do it in a healthy way without damaging my hair or without damaging it too much. <laughs> so that's Thursday. So I don't know. I may, I may do a little bit of a vlog, but this weekend, my friend Wilson's coming up for her birthday. We're going to have people over and, um, I don't, I like to just, you guys know, I've learned that time is for me and for them and not to be shared with the world. Know what I'm saying? So uh, I just, you, you got to know where, you got to know where to, where to draw the line sometimes uh, when it comes to these things in order. And that I found by doing that, it makes me want to, to vlog more. Is that, I know, I hope that makes sense to you guys. So, so my dad helped me hang this yesterday. I'm, I'm like walking down the stairs backwards to make sure. But, um, oh, I need to shift it. I can see. I had moved it a little bit to finish touching up paint, but doesn't it look nice? And we ended up doing, there we go. I, I had to shift it. We ended up doing, hanging it with a wire because it just really was the only safe way to hang this on the wall. 
Um, so I have touched up everything. You can't see any of the holes anymore, which is awesome. And I, I you can see the wire, but I have decided that do you can, can you kind of see there? I actually like it. I didn't, I was like, well, it is what it is, but I actually like it. I just think it kind of adds to the rusticness of it. And my dad was so precise to make sure that it was symmetrical on each, each side because he's the cutest and he knows how I am. Um, so anyway, I'm really happy with that. And I wanted to, like I said, I, I walked by this on my way to my office and I was like, Ooh, I need to, I need to give them a little, a little clip of that. So I'm going to stick that in. All right. So it's just about noon. So I'm going to take my lunch here. But I wanted to show you guys my, this office is a mess, but anyway, I want to show you guys, I got these new shoes. You can't really see probably so there's some lighting, um, from Nordstrom and I can't remember what they're called. A Nike rejuvenate maybe or something. So I'm wearing them around my house. Cause when I first put them on, I was like, Oh, these feel kind of tight, but I just wear thin little socks. And the more I have them on, the more they don't feel tight. They just feel uber comfortable, like uber comfortable, which is good. So, um, I just, you know, wanted to wear them around a little bit and see how they felt, but I really like them. They're really light, like super, super light. So anyway, I just, um, I have to vacuum. I have, I broke down when I did the stools yesterday, I broke down all the little styrofoam that was in the package. Excuse me. And I had to, I have like random lipstick in here. I put it all in the garbage and that sort of thing. So I have to tell you guys, my printer, I don't know, any, I'm so not techy, like not even a little bit techy. And my printer, when I turned it on, I tried to print the other day. I, all I did was replace the, these things. And I was trying to print out the recipe so that when I was, ba when I was baking with the church cuties, it would be easier for them to read it. And... My printer said the printer head is not compatible. So this one says the printer head installed is not intended for use with this printer or is damaged. Well, I don't know how it got any of those things. So uh, I, I was thinking about getting a new printer anyway because this one is pretty old and the printer, printer cartridges for it are kind of expensive and whatever. But I don't understand. I didn't do anything. All I did was replace the... Um, these things so I don't know I really I don't understand but I'm gonna get I need to get another one anyway and one that works with my work computer because right now if I want to print something I have to send it to my hotmail open it up on my Mac and print it instead of being able to print it's a bit of a debacle so I lost the cap for this bottle it's gonna drive me crazy I was gonna recycle this and I can't find the cap so I put this lipstick over here. I was trying to decide what I was going to do my lunch today. I want to do some organizing in here. I have lots of sort of organizing things I want to do this week. Um, I'll do some of them at night or whatever, but because without when Bob's not when he's here, I want to be with him, be like in the same room with him. And when he so he's not going to be here, I can be working in you know my closet or working in uh, my makeup room or whatever. So. I want to do that, and maybe I'll have this filmed by the time you see this. I don't know. We'll see. One of the videos I have on my list to film is a different products I'm using now. I'm going to go back to the way I used to do it. The way that I did it this year just did not work. I was keeping like an inventory of things and trying to get down to a different number. And that works for some people, but it just doesn't work for me. Like for instance, foundations. Um, when I'm, when I, I mean, I'm, when I'm sent some foundations or foundations are one of the things I really like to um, review. So I wanna try new ones, but I feel badly for buying new ones because I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna go back to the way I used to do it. I did like this for years. I did something a little bit different in 2016 because Elle from Alice for Living had, had kind of invited a bunch of us to do that with her. And I liked that, what I did that year, but I talked, I talked all about that, why I decided not to do it that way again. Um, and I'll list that, I'll link that video in case you're curious. I'll link that. Um, it was the wrap up that I did last year and like, I can't remember if I did it in December or if I did it in January of this year talking about it. Anyway. 
I'm going back to the old school way. <laughs> Murray Fisher is making funny noise. I'm going back to... I to all I can, I'm standing here and I'm seeing all the things I need to do. Um, I'm going to make a list of products I'm using up and I'm just going to keep adding things in there and again I'm going to focus on I'm always focusing on foundations because those go, you know, I think those are something that I'm more aware of going bad, foundations, primers, that sort of thing. So I'm going to put a primer in there, foundation in there, a black eyeliner, a brown eyeliner, and then, you know, however many things, I'll, I'll try to maybe have 10 things or something. And then when I use something up, I'll put something else in the list. And it's just going to be an ongoing thing. It's going to be like, that's how I used to do it. So I hope that's okay with everybody. It just is what works for me. So. It doesn't matter if it's okay for everybody or not, because it's okay for me. <laughs> well, on that note, I forgot to look. I wonder if I have any of that lip color on. I was testing a lip color, and it was one of those days. I've been on the phone nonstop this morning, so it's just kind of one of those days where um, I forget to do to look and do check-ins, and, and that happens. So frequently, I end up testing the same thing, like, over again. All right, I'm going to watch Fear the Walking Dead on my lunch, but first I have to heat up some... I, have some, I think I might have some roast and vegetables for my lunch today to heat that up. And then, um, yeah, that's what's going on. Good Tuesday morning to you guys. I didn't think about what day it was. <clears throat> Excuse me. So um, it's about 730. And I got to tell you guys, I could not fall asleep last night. So unlike me. I usually sleep like a champ. I, I you know, for the most part, I am very blessed that I don't have those kind of, um, you know, like so, sometimes as you're getting older, you have a harder time sleeping. And um, I've, I'm very lucky. I, I really don't have that issue. But I think it's with Bob being gone and in the new house, there's different sounds I'm not familiar with. The other house, we had been there for 14 years, and I was very familiar with every sound that it would make. And so I would know if something was weird or different and I wasn't like that when we first moved in and uh, <clears throat> excuse me I'm sure I will get like that here but I'm just not yet so um, I think gosh I don't think I fell asleep to like 1 or 1 30 which so not like me so anyway um, I, I was kind of lazy in bed this morning but that is one of the nice things about working from home is that um, I can roll out of bed take a shower it's 7 32 and I'm sitting down to work so all right, let us have just a little midday check. <laughs> it's 1245. Bye. And I have to go to Green Bay and get a new printer. I can't make mine work anymore. And I need to print stuff for work. <laughs> so I'm going to have to go over to Green Bay here in a couple hours and get that handled. I'm not sure exactly when I'm going to do it. I'm going to finish a couple of things and then maybe I'll go over. I don't know. So frustrated. Right, one day it works. Next day it doesn't. It makes no sense to me. I've tried everything that I know of to do. So what's really frustrating is that I just bought all those printer cartridges to the tune of like $60 to replace all of them. So that's frustrating. And I don't know anybody else that has a printer like this. It's like, it's, it's pretty old. Like, it's old. So anyway, so it's going on midday. I feel like this is going to be a really boring vlog. Hmm. Wonder if any of this footage will even see the light of day. Good morning, everybody. It's Wednesday morning. And I'm going off to the office for most of the day. I have a meeting there, and so I'm just going to work from there. So I'm just, all of a sudden I was like, oh, crud, I didn't really think about that. Stay. Uh, as far as bringing, you know, something to snack. I know I do have some vegetables cut. Good. I will have some vegetables. And string cheese, <laughs> you know, the usual. Uh, but anyway, I just want to say good morning. I did today, I'm not sure, I can't remember now. Sometimes I try to think back like where, where there's good lighting. <laughs> this fridge is like, there are the random, most random things in the fridge right now. Lots of vegetables, a couple of bottles of wine that we ended up not drinking the other night when Stephen was here. Um... You know, I can show you this. So my friend Jamie, he found this at the store. Do you guys remember Jolly Good Soda? Like 80s babies? He found Jolly Good, but can you see how the can is? It's like tall and skinny. 
So he bought this and I think in strawberry. So he gave me one of these. I obviously haven't had it yet, but um, I need, I'm actually waiting for Bob to get home so he can split it with me. But um, yeah, I just was really, I was like, jolly good. I haven't seen that in forever. So anyway, I'm telling you just the randomest things in there. Two things of chili. So I'm looking forward to eating, having those. Tonight I'm going over to my church QD's house for dinner. My friend Heidi invited me over since Bob is gone. So yeah. That's what's going on. Not super exciting. I did get my printer yesterday. I've not installed it. It is still in its box. But I'm going to have to do that today because I'm going to have to finish some stuff. I'm off tomorrow on Friday. But there's some stuff I'm going to have to get done tomorrow. I don't think I'll get it done today because of the meetings that we have. Or that I have, I should say. I don't think that's going to happen. And I need it for my trip on, to, on Monday. So anyway. All right. I'm Good on. morning, you guys. So I'm waiting for a conference call to start that was supposed to start five minutes ago so I decided to grab the camera and vlog quick. I have to tell you it's it's Thursday morning by the way I, and I'm apologizing that I look like this again on camera. I feel like it has to be a little bit scary when I do that. Um, I had such big plans for stuff that I was going to get accomplished. Um, I'm on mute by the way in case I'm talking. <laughs> Things that I was going to get accomplished um, these past few days and I just feel like it got away from me. I don't understand how that happened. Although the trip to Green Bay for the printer didn't help matters any. But anyway, so um, I today's schedule is that I have this. I'm, I'm on vacation, but I have this conference call at 9. Well, it's supposed to be at 9. I think now it's going to be at 9.15. I'm not really sure. I'm just kind of hanging tight here to here. And um, I'm, <laughs> I was using this glass yesterday for wine. I just love this glass. Um, isn't it pretty? I don't even remember how I got it, quite frankly. But this actually would come off, too. Like, it's... You see what I'm saying? But it's so pretty. I, um... Last night at 4.30, I poured myself a glass of wine <laughs> right at the end of the day. <clears throat> Excuse me. And, um, had Snapchat the glass, and a lot of you guys liked the glass, but I don't know where I got it. Anyway, um, so today... Like I said, I have this conference call, then I have another one at 10... Yep, I'm on vacation. <laughs> and then in between that, I actually need to finish some of my materials for, um, oh shoot, I'm just going to grab some things. Sorry, you guys, it making me motion sick. Um, some materials for my work trip next week that I couldn't do because of the whole printer situation. So, you know, it just is what it is. Yesterday, I had IT helping me get it all set up, and it took longer than I expected it to. And I couldn't use my computer to work on my materials while he was doing it because he had control of it. So it wasn't like I was working. It was kind of a waste of time. So I'm going to try to make up some of that time. I need to stick the things I got in from Estee Lauder that I purchased from my buddy David. They have a new Pure Color Envy mascara that I wanted to try. So I ordered that and then I ordered a um, concealer. I'm almost out of my MAC Pro Longwear and I really want to see which which I like better. So I, I saw you guys on that. I, I realized I, want, I remembered I wanted to show you something. So one of you guys had suggested to me, and I can't remember if it was a vlog or Instagram or Snapchat or something. Um, the rest of my bottle of wine falling out. This creamer, and we don't have any stores that carry any of the, like even seasonal creamers really here. They might carry pumpkin spice or whatever, but none of the fun ones. Like Erica from Erica Jones, she was talking about this one last year that was like marshmallow something or other that I wanted to try. I never found that. But anyway, so she had sent me a picture of this one. And it must be seasonal because it says delight in the season on it. But um, look at this. It's Reese's. Oh, you can't really see it. Sorry. It's Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. What? It's so good. <laughs> it's really good. You have to put it in plain coffee, obviously. You can't be putting it in some sort of flavored coffee. I mean, maybe there's some flavors it would work with, but anyway, so yummy. All right, so anyway, to bring it back, today I need to um, shred up those zucchinis so that I can have some in the freezer for zucchini bread. And I'm having lunch with some friends after my conference calls at probably like one o'clock. And then I need to be on the road by, or I mean at noon, I need to be on the road by one to get to my hair appointment at two. So it's the first step in the going blonde. I'm just looking to see if there's an update here. OK, 
Okay, it looks like we're doing 9.15. So let me just hang out my phone. So I'm not on a call to Canada for no apparent reason. And I have a few more minutes. So, yeah, I just want to do a little check-in. I'll check in later with you guys when I look a little bit more reasonable. But, uh, reasonable. but I did the, this morning, let me get this out of my ear. This morning I did the um, Redken Clarifying Shampoo because I'm getting my hair colored. I'm not sure if that's a good idea or not a good idea for whatever he's going to do tonight, but whatever. I just always feel like it's good to give my hair a nice, clean, all the product off. And so I usually will do that. I still put a few products on, but I try to be very careful and choosy about what products I put on my hair when it's wet after I've done the clarifying. You know what I mean? So anyway, all right. I'm going to stop rambling. I'm going to do a couple of things here in the five minutes that I have. Maybe I'm going to take a half a day vacation today instead of a full day based on what i got going on. But anyway, I will see all you right. guys. One call done. Waiting on the other one. Um, did a couple things. It's just a weird morning. Very weird. Anyway, I was going to show you guys. Look at this. I'm the proud own owner of a ginormous... Actually, technically my company is a proud owner <laughs> of a ginormous printer. Um, because I work from home, they... You know, that's something that I can expense. But, um... Let me grab this. I, I meant to show you guys that before, and I just thought I would show you the uh, new printer. It's ginormous. My other one was so nice and little. And that's one of the reasons I liked it, but this is the one that the, you know, when I had to get one, when I knew I was going to have to get one, I messaged the, you know, our IT contact and said, all right, which one, you know, which one do I need to get? And that is the one. And actually, I mean, it serves two purposes. One, I haven't been able to print from home. I think I maybe messaged that, or miss, maybe told you guys that one other time that it's just been really weird. Like I could run some reports here but I couldn't print them, and in my office at work, I couldn't run the reports, but I could have printed had I could. <laughs> so uh, all things seem to be handled at this point, which is really good. So, and our IT guy was he's very super helpful and very appreciative of all of his help yesterday. So anyway, um, I am going to, it's about, it's almost 10 o'clock. This is what happens. I, I take a vacation day and then, I do a bunch of work things, and then I end up with not as much time to do the things I wanted to do on my vacation day. But it's all right. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to make my second cup of coffee here, eat my yogurt and blueberries, put on some makeup while I wait for the other call, and yeah. Boring. All right, it is 11.45, or no, 11.30. I have 11.45 in my head because what is with my hair? I just got a glimpse of this in the mirror. I mean... I just threw some big curls in it and, you know, he's just going to throw color on it here in a few hours. So anyway, it's 1130, 1145, um, I need to leave and I'm just checking my, this is the problem with work, working from home. You can check things even when you're on vacation. Um, all right. So I'm going to have lunch with some friends. Oh, I meant to tell you guys, I've, um, it was, I was so bummed more so because she's not feeling well, but, um, I didn't go over and have dinner with my church cuties and my friends last night because Heidi's not feeling well. So she was going to, you know, kind of lay low and she's so sweet. She's worried about getting me sick, which I've never worried about, but I, but I, it's sweet of her to, to care about that. So, um, she, uh, anyway, so Jamie, God bless him, brought me down some leftovers that they had saved for me from something that he makes orange chicken that's so good. So last night I had some orange chicken instead of my um, chili. But anyway, I was going to show you. I have to put on um, some shoes. <laughs> Those are called shoes. But this, again, I, I've showed you guys this outfit of the day before, but or this sweater before. I, I just love the sweaters from Marisa's. And I got it in a really, obviously you can tell, it's in a really big size just because I wanted it kind of cute and comfy like that. I have my lipstick in there, but these are Silvers. They're called Silver Sam's, I think, boyfriend jeans or something like that. I don't know. They're very comfortable. So this jacket, look at this. This is sitting here because the little button popped off of it and I need to fix it. <laughs> Random information from Kristen Games. So I just am not sure what shoes I want to put on because um, 
my toes are not polished anymore because I'm getting ready to do a baby feet. And uh, you, have to, you don't have to have your polish off, but I just like to take my polish off. But I may wear these anyway. I feel like this might be one of the last days where I can get away with these shoes. Um, let me show you guys. I have to zip them up, but um, want to focus there for me? Thanks. But they're just cute. They're by that brand BOC. And they have a little bit of a heel on them. But it's probably one of the last days. But I don't have I don't have polish on my toes. So I feel kind of funny. Oh, I tell you. I mean, these are really first word problems. I mean, not that it's a big crisis that I don't have. I just feel like I have. Whatever. I just like my toes better when they're painted. So anyway, I'm going to finish cleaning up the bathroom. I went with these. Um, which are just, you can see, just little flats with patent toes. Ooh, they're like $10 flats from Payless or something from eons ago. So, all right, I'm cleaning up my bathroom, pack up my stuff, grab some string cheese because it's the only snack I travel with apparently, and uh, get going. The reason I'm bringing string cheese, by the way, is because my hair appointment is going to last a few hours. He told me to bring a snack. Oh, he cracks me up. So, anyway, that's what's happening. Good morning, everybody. So, it's Friday morning, and hopefully you guys can see. It looks like the lighting here is pretty good, so you guys can see um, kind of where I'm at with the color. This is really pretty kind of fall color. Um, I just did an Instagram Live. It's about 8.30. And I have about 45 minutes or so, give or take, till I'm going to leave for my chiropractor appointment. And I think Wilson actually will be here, she and her husband won't be. I call half my friends by their last names. Um, they will be here by the time I get back from my chiro appointment because they left way earlier. <laughs> she was like, I asked her what time they were going to leave. And this was when we were talking a while back. And she said, I don't know, you know, we'll get up. I'll be able to have his coffee, blah, blah, blah. So maybe around nine or so. And I said, okay. So that's why I made the appointment for when I made the appointment. All right, sorry, I had to like organize something in my, in my, in my drawer here. I had things falling all over the place. So they are going to be here a little bit earlier um, because they got up early and she sent me a text and said they were on the way. So I'm, I uh, am running out of time just a little bit based on what I, when I thought she was gonna be here, but that's fine. So um, um, I, was, I thought there's something else I was gonna tell you guys, but I guess not. So I'm gonna end this vlog here. Thanks for hanging out with me this week. Um, I'm excited. Bobby comes home tomorrow, so I'm excited to have him home. And I think we're going out to dinner tonight and tomorrow for Wilson's birthday. A couple of different celebrations. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm just going to show you guys an outfit of the day quick. I'm wearing the same jeans I was wearing yesterday. Don't judge me. Does anybody wear their jeans once and then wash them? Because I don't. I feel like I've just worn them in. I wear them twice and then wash them. Anyway, but this sweater, you want, I don't know how to show you. Aside, I mean, I can show you the front of it. This sweater is the one that I bought at the, the Nordstrom sale that has the zipper in the back of it, but I, I, there's no way for me to show you it. And then it has, I'll, I'll, in, I'll put a link in there. So it's got a zipper, like, I'm trying to think, like down to the kind of the small of my back. Uh, anyway, so as I think I told you guys when I bought it that I bought it a couple sizes bigger because I just wanted it to be like comfy and cozy and I'm just wearing like a black tank underneath it. I'm not sure I'm going to wear for shoes yet. I haven't decided. I kind of want to wear my fun hat today. We're going out to um, this pumpkin patch thing. And I bought this last year. Do you guys remember? I vlogged about it. And I kind of want to wear it today. Unless we think it's going to look dumb. Let's just see. Yeah, I don't think it, I don't think it works with my hair curly. It, worked, it looked better with it um, straight. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I gotta look at the whole thing. It's a cute outfit, but I think it would look better if my hair was straight versus, I don't know. Well, anyway, <laughs> I'll decide later. All right, I'm gonna sign off. I hope that you guys have a great weekend. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.